It is 947 and after a little bit of a hiatus because you had a baby, congratulations Thank to you. you and your beautiful wife yeah. and welcome back. We're happy to have you here. I already have the safety glasses on because yep. why wouldn't you come back and play with fire, right? That's right. You know, <laughs> 4th of July is just around the corner. Yes, it is. Okay. And you know what? The big fireworks display is already starting in some communities. So, cool. yeah. Cool. So we're going to talk about what those firework manufacturers do to get those brilliant colors in the fireworks. That's the best part, right? If they were all white. I personally like the white ones that kind of sparkle down. But yeah. the colorful ones, the kids love those. And this is perfect. Light this up. Okay. Go ahead and turn the lighter on. I've got a little strip of magnesium here. And every element produces a characteristic color. Uh -huh. Okay. And so magnesium, if we get it in the flame here and get it to heat up, it's going to oh, block, yeah. block your eye, maybe, because that's an incredibly, yeah, incredibly really, really bright, bright. Mm -hmm. bright light. So those fireworks that you like that generate the really bright sparkles, mm, yes. you're talking magnesium. Oh, it's, yeah. it's stuck on my tongue. Okay. <laughs> All right, we'll put that over here. Cool. So the other way we can look at how different elements create colors mm -hmm. is with a container of uh, methyl alcohol. Now, this stuff burns with a nearly invisible flame. Oh, so when I light wow. it up, it's probably really hard to see, but there definitely is burning alcohol in there. I felt the heat even when you just did that. And you hear that whoosh yep. as it lights up. So lithium, you might find it in your cell phone battery. I'm going to give you this little Kay. shaker and just go ahead and sprinkle a little lithium chloride into the flame. D dump a lot in. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Oh, pink. Perfect. Pinkish red? Like a hot pink. Yeah. Right? Um, sodium, okay, that you might find in table salt, give you a nice sort of orangish color. Kind of orange, yep, that looks like an actual flame, sure. Potassium, I'll give you some potassium, potassium. stuff that you might find in a banana. A little bit of a... Ooh, like kind a of like a bluish purple? Lavender, Pinky? maybe? Yeah. Sure. Now, one of my favorites, though, um, is strontium. It's the stuff you find in road flares, okay, which okay. gives you a really nice, deep red color. Ooh, yeah. All right, and then finally copper. This is many other people's favorite. Go ahead and give that a toss in there. And what we're seeing is we add these different elements inside as they heat up, they give off a characteristic color. Yeah, okay? that's really neat. A nice greenish now, blue. Now clearly though, when we hear about fireworks, they must be using a lot of this stuff because this is only lasting for a split second. Yes, and it's how they, <laughs> how they pack it into the shells and how it combusts and the sure. materials they have burning inside okay. there. And of course, one of the things they'll do as well is you don't want to just have individual colors, right? You might want to have a mixture. So here I've added a little bit Should of I add everything. Should I put it all in? And just kind of sprinkle it in okay. a, it's kind of slowly. Let's see if we can get a like a multicolored. Ooh, Ooh. oh, there we go. Yeah, kind of looks tie-dye. Okay. And of course, Everything is always better with sparkles as well. So if we Ooh, add, oh, that's what I like. That's my favorite. Iron particles, you get those golden sort of. Ooh. Oh, that was nice. Uh, really nice. Um, yeah, See, I'm practicing my <laughs> oohs and ahs too, because what are fireworks without the ooh and the ah? Ooh, I Absolutely. love that. So yeah, you know, when you're watching the firework displays as they come up, keep in mind that some really nice, simple chemistry in there. You know, the copper is going to give you some green. The Copper's strontium green. give you a little bit of a reddish color. Sodium, table salt, nice golden sort of color. Sure. And which one's the potassium again? That gives you the is that the reddish the one? The potassium is right there. That kind of gives us the uh, lavender. Oh, that's yes, I love that one. Potassium, and, uh, you're really doing it for me today. It's good. I have to say strontium. Strontium is nice too. Though. Yeah, that's a good. Really bright color, and that's of course good. the sparkles as well with a little bit of iron. Iron. There. Okay. Iron, golden colored iron. So we like so, the potassium and the iron. That's my favorite. There we go. Cool. So it's so cool if you can remember some of those elements when you're watching the fireworks and maybe yell them out or something. There you go. So Kinda parents cool. take note or maybe all the kids that are watching out there, they can say, hey, mom and dad, do you remember what makes these colors? So Absolutely. make it into a learning experience, right? <laughs> Awesome. Well, Carl, you never you never disappoint. This is awesome. Fourth of July right around the corner. So, hey, when you're watching those fireworks displays, just remember all the cool things that are out there. Oh, that's really neat. Well, that's this week's Imagine It. From there, we have some St. John's. Oh, we want to tell you about the hours real quickly. Yeah. They are open today. And again, Saturdays, you always run your special for Lucas County children, right? 12 and under with an adult admission, get in free. And we're doing some cool nano day stuff today right. as well. Right. Those are the teeny tiny Nano technology, really some cool stuff. Working with a scanning electron microscope at the University of Toledo today, remotely. Whoa. Over the internet. So some Pretty really cool. cool stuff. Awesome. Go Definitely. down to the Imagination Station, check it out. Carl, welcome back. Thanks, Thanks so much. Glad to have you. From there, we want to go send it over to Steve. He has a check of sports and some St. John's rowers who are trying to beat a world record.